This is the Part Catalog Editor. It contains all of the parts that Solid will use to build each assembly. Depending on the level of Solid that you have, you may see fewer columns in this window when you open up the Part Catalog on your system. The Description column allows you to change the name of any part within the system. Changing the name here will change the name everywhere that it occurs. For example, I will click in the Gusset field, get rid of the current name, and type in Corner Block. To make sure that the new description is saved, I will then click into another field. Notice how the Part column now reflects this name change. To see where else this adjustment will be seen, I will click on Close, and I will click on the Material Schedules drop-down. Before I select assembly parts, take a moment and look at this list of schedules. When we get back into the part catalog, you will find that this list is represented within. It creates a means to organize the parts. Select assembly parts to continue. I have gone ahead and expanded a couple of groups. Once again, when we return to the part catalog, you will find that these expansions are also represented. Here is the part that I changed to be called Corner Block. Click OK to close this window. Another area that you will see the part name changed will be in your reports and cut lists, as well as when you select that part in an assembly at the assembly level. Select Part to return to the Part Catalog Editor and to continue looking at the available options. The Labor Setup and Labor Each will only be available to the solid Ultimate products. These columns allow for a minute value to be entered concerning the time you want to allow to manufacture the selected part and will be used in the bid center. The Optimize column is available for any solid product that also has the S2M center. It is a yes or no toggle that you can adjust if you want a part to go to the optimizer or not. Notice these first few parts. They are face frame parts and are all set to no. A little further down, all of these parts would be made out of panel stock and are set to yes, so that they can be nested for a CNC router or a beam saw. 